14 years, 24 deaths, and more than 400 injuries later, the U.S. is still dealing with the largest vehicle safety recall in history. Defective Takata airbags are putting drivers at risk every day. Yeah, it's surprising here. Traffic safety organizations and car dealers are hoping a renewed campaign about this will encourage drivers to get in with those vehicles and get those repairs. News 6 anchor and insider guide Crystal Moyers here now with more about this. These repairs are free. You can even get some money out of this, Crystal. Exactly. The Takata airbag recall is nothing new and has been in effect for over 10 years. But there are so many defective airbags still in cars on the roadways today. Some car makers are going as far as paying drivers to get the necessary repairs. These cars are they're definitely dangerous. Well, if that airbag explodes with the violence that it's intended to and a rusty piece of metal, that, that metal goes everywhere. Craig Smith with Central Florida Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram wants drivers to pump the brakes and check for any open recalls on their vehicles today. First, you'll need to locate your vehicle's VIN number. There's a couple places to identify your vehicle identification number. The easiest one's typically located at the bottom of the left-hand side of the windshield. Um, and then there's also, sometimes those aren't viewable. Sometimes you have an older car and it'll be covered up. But then on the inside of the door, there's always a placard that will have your vehicle's vehicle identification number on it. Call your local car dealership or simply type the VIN number into the box on checktoprotect.org to find out if your vehicle has the Takata airbag recall. So how dangerous is the faulty airbag? It's been blamed for 24 deaths and more than 400 injuries in the U.S. Even with the open recall, there are still nearly 400,000 vehicles in Florida across all makes and models with the unrepaired airbags. There's over... 50,000 vehicles with these airbags just in Orlando, the Orlando metro area alone, that have these airbag recalls in. Smith says while dealerships have reached out multiple times through letters and phone calls alerting drivers of the open recall, some vehicle owner information is out of date. Other issues? They think that it's not convenient, okay? The, the, the OEM has really, really become generous when it comes to getting these recalls done. I, I can speak for Chrysler dealers, but I'm sure it's the same with Honda and all the other makes, Volvo, that are affected by these Takata airbags. They, they want to get your vehicle and they want to get it replaced. It's, it's much more beneficial to them to have it done now than versus what the liability is later on. The repairs are free and most take less than two hours to service. Some dealerships like this one will even provide complimentary transportation or a rental while you wait. If that's not enough encouragement, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep and Ram dealers will even pay you 50 bucks if you get your recall repaired by July 15th. They definitely don't want anybody driving these cars uh, with these in there. The OEMs and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration make it such an important thing to, to get this done that they issuing people $50 gift cards for those people that are driving those cars that are affected by that stop drive recall. Once drivers receive their free repair, the dealership will provide a hotline number to call. Once the repair is confirmed, Stellantis will send the $50 gift card to the driver. Now, there are some makes and models with a stop drive order from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration due to the recall. I'm going to post a list of some of those recalled models in the links to Check to Protect website on clickorlando.com slash insider. I was really shocked that there yes. are so many still mm -hmm. floating mm -hmm. out there that need to be repaired. Yeah, I think it's like one of those issues where, you know, if you have a brake issue or an engine issue, you can hear it. Mm -hmm. When you're driving the car, you hear the clunk clunk or whatever. This is something that's, it's invisible. It's an, an invisible mm -hmm. issue that you have, but the only way you'll know that it's a problem, mm -hmm. it's when you really need it to work. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you know, we, I feel like maybe like 2014, 2015, I feel like we were covering this every day in the news. And when I saw what you were doing today, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that was still a problem. Mm -hmm. so I'm so glad you did this because mm -hmm. there's so many people who might not even realize that they still have issues. Yeah, and you know whether you think it's inconvenient or you just don't know, the fact of the matter is these older models, they've yeah. been resold so many times that yeah. the information is not up to date. Mm -hmm. So these dealerships are trying to reach out to the owners and it's just not getting into the right hands. So yeah. get on that website, yes. type in the VIN number really quick and easy. It is free to repair and most of these dealerships will provide you with other modes of transportation if it's going to take too long. And that $50 gift card, I mean, everybody <laughs> needs to check their VIN number. That'll Absolutely. get you dinner. <laughs> Crystal, thank you.